Hi everyone and welcome to this six part educational series. In this last video, we'll be covering toothwear. Make sure to download the My Dental Care app from either the App Store or the Google Play Store where all the information in this series is quickly accessible. If you're here for anything in particular, feel free to skip around using the timestamps on the screen now. Let's get into it. So tooth wear is the progressive loss of surface tooth tissue and is distinctively different from tooth decay as there is no bacterial involvement. Your teeth will naturally wear away slowly over time due to years of eating, drinking and brushing. This obviously increases as you age. In this video, we're not concerned about the normal aging effects on your teeth. However, there are three main ways you can accelerate tooth wear which may lead to dental problems. The first type of tooth wear that we want to talk about is erosion. Erosion is the loss of tooth tissue as a result of your teeth coming into frequent contact with acidic substances. Sometimes this is referred to as acid erosion. These acids are completely unrelated to the acids produced by bacteria in dental plaque which can lead to tooth decay. There is no bacterial involvement in erosive tooth wear. These acidic substances can either come from your stomach or from your diet or both and over time can dissolve the surfaces of your teeth. So on the screen is a list of the most common sources of dietary acids. After reading the list, please don't be worried if you realize, for example, that you drink orange juice every morning. Your saliva can protect your teeth by neutralizing these dietary acids. However, it takes approximately 25 to 40 minutes for it to do that. This is similar to how it protects your teeth against tooth decay which we covered in the diet and teeth video. Tooth erosion from a dietary source is a problem in individuals who consume acidic foods and drinks frequently, which leaves your teeth in an acidic environment for a long period of time. There are many things that you can do to prevent acid erosion from your diet. The first thing is to limit the number of acidic food or drinks that you consume on a daily basis and try to spread these things out evenly throughout your day. By limiting the frequency and evenly spreading out your dietary acids, you'll be allowing enough time for your saliva to neutralize these acids and reduce the risk of having acid erosion. Next is to avoid having acidic snacks or drinks in between your meals. If you want an acidic snack or fizzy drink, try to have it with your main meal. This way you are grouping your acidic attacks together, which will reduce reduce the frequency that your teeth are exposed to an acidic environment. Another great way to neutralize these acids is by drinking water after consuming something acidic to help wash away these harmful acids. This will reduce the time your teeth are in an acidic environment. You should never brush your teeth straight after eating or consuming something that has high levels of acid or sugar as these foods and drinks will temporarily soften the surface of your teeth and by brushing straight afterwards it can lead to abrasive tooth wear. You should wait at least 45 minutes after you have just eaten something if you wish to brush your teeth. And the last tip is to use a straw. Using a straw for acidic drinks can help to avoid direct contact with your teeth. Try not to sip on a fizzy drink over a long period of time. For example, having a bottle of fizzy drink by your desk and taking a sip every 10 minutes. Your saliva will not be able to neutralize the acid in time before your next sip, leaving your mouth in a prolonged acidic environment. A lot of times you may choose to have the diet version of a fizzy drink, for example, Coke Zero, or diet coke and this may be great to prevent tooth decay but bear in mind that these drinks still contain high levels of acid and frequently drinking these drinks can lead to acid erosion another source that this acid can come from is internal your stomach contains acid which helps to digest food and destroy bacteria there are a number of different conditions which can cause these acids from your stomach to regurgitate up your throat and into the back of your mouth on screen is a list of the most common conditions. If you suffer from acid reflux, it is important to consult your GP who can give you appropriate treatment to help reduce your gastric regurgitation, such as using an antacid or proton pump inhibitors, such as omeprazole. If you suffer from an eating disorder, such as bulimia or anorexia, it can be quite a difficult subject to discuss. Nevertheless, it's important to try to seek help. If you're interested, the UK does have some fantastic support services, which we have linked and put on the screen now. You can also visit the NHS website for more information or speak to your local GP. For eating disorders and morning sickness, after vomiting, you should never brush your teeth straight after. Wait at least 45 minutes. Just rinse your mouth with water to help neutralize the acid. You can use a fluoride containing alcohol-free mouthwash to help freshen your breath. The next type of tooth wear we want to discuss is something called attrition or grinding your teeth. Attrition is the loss of tooth teeth 
tissue caused by tooth to tooth contact, usually by opposing teeth grinding over one another. This type of tooth wear is seen in individuals who habitually clench or grind their teeth. This is called bruxism. Attrition can be severely accelerated when combined with acid erosion. Many people can unknowingly grind or clench their teeth while they are sleeping or as a habit throughout the day. You may grind or clench your teeth during periods of high stress, such as an exam coming up or an important event. This usually resolves itself when the stressful event or stimulus is removed. If this is due to a temporary period of stress-related clenching or grinding, then you will need to try to reduce your stress levels. It might be helpful to research stress management strategies or visit the NHS website on their latest stress management techniques. Try to pay attention and notice if you have a habit of clenching or grinding your teeth during the day. You will need to try to slowly avoid doing this, and which can be quite difficult. If you are clenching and grinding your teeth at night time, then your dentist may be able to make you a night guard to help reduce the contact between your teeth while you are asleep. Initially, it can feel very strange wearing something at night to protect your teeth. However, given time, you'll slowly adapt and be able to sleep with this device in. The final type we wanted to talk about is abrasion or overbrushing. Abrasion is the loss of tooth tissue caused by mechanical friction from something other than your teeth. This is most commonly caused by applying too much pressure with a manual toothbrush while cleaning your teeth. This type of tooth wear can also occur by frequently consuming abrasive foods such as nuts or due to habits such as nail biting or chewing on the back of a pen. The tooth wear occurs over time due to the frequent rubbing against the surfaces of your teeth. If this wear is due to overbrushing, then you will need to change your toothbrush technique, which is covered in our oral hygiene guide or video. Make sure you use a soft to medium toughness toothbrush with gentle pressure. Brushing harder doesn't mean your teeth will be any cleaner. Initially, dental plaque is very soft and easy to clean so you do not require a lot of force to remove it. Just a little bit of pressure with the right technique will do the job. It may be useful to get an electric toothbrush with a pressure sensor built into it to help guide you and tell you when you're applying too much force. If the abrasion is due to abrasive foods or habits such as nail biting or in certain cultures chewing on chicken bones, then you will need to change this in order to protect your teeth. If the abrasive wear is significant, then your dentist may want to place a protective filling. Now, all three types of tooth wear can have many effects on your teeth. One of the most common is hypersensitivity. Over time, tooth wear can deteriorate the strong enamel layer covering the surface of your teeth. This will expose the dentine layer underneath, which can become very sensitive to cold, hot, and even sweet things. Dentine can also be exposed by gum recession from overbrushing. The amount of sensitivity experienced can vary from person to person. Another effect is the aesthetics of your teeth. They can appear shorter due to the loss of surface tooth tissue which will reduce the height of your teeth and can make them look aesthetically displeasing. As more of your enamel layer is lost, your teeth may appear yellow in color. And this is because the dentine layer underneath will start to shine through. And this layer is naturally yellow in color. Certain types of tooth wear can also increase in plaque retention and food trapping. Significant tooth wear can create wear areas where food and dental plaque become trapped which can lead to other problems such as tooth decay. And lastly, fracturing and chipping. As your enamel layer deteriorates, it will weaken the strength of your teeth, making them more prone to fracturing and chipping. This is particularly prominent in individuals who grind their teeth. If you suffer from tooth wear, it's important to learn how to protect your teeth and apply the appropriate preventive measures as we have mentioned in this video. You should visit your local dentist who will be able to assess your oral health and try to identify the cause of your tooth wear. They can help guide you and give you the appropriate preventive measures. Next, you want to identify the cause. If tooth wear is an issue, then you need to identify the leading cause of it with the help of your dentist. You should still bear in mind that the tooth wear is always caused by a combination of all three factors. A good example of this would be if you suffer from dietary acid erosion, you can can make your tooth wear worse by brushing immediately after consuming acidic foods or drinks, which will fall under abrasive type. However, it will add to your overall tooth wear. Once the cause has been identified, your dentist will try to implement the following appropriate preventative measures. So the first stage is always trying to identify the leading factors and rectify them to prevent further tooth wear. This also helps prevent reoccurrence of the problem after treatment has been successful. This may require a lifelong change. If you're experiencing tooth sensitivity, the treatment for that starts with sensitive toothpaste. You should start using sensitivity reducing types of toothpaste such as Sensodyne or Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. After you brush your teeth, you should not rinse your mouth out with water or mouthwash, just spit out the foam. Your dentist can regularly apply a high fluoride concentration varnish which can help reduce the sensitivity as well. Your dentist can also apply a dentine bonding agent which will seal the tiny tubes in your dentine layer and reduce sensitivity. However, if you have lost significant tooth tissue, your dentist may advise the placement of a small filling. 
This is common with abrasive tooth wear. For excessive tooth wear and aesthetic concerns, restorative treatment can vary significantly from person to person, as it depends on the extent and the severity of your wear. Your dentist will be able to discuss what appropriate treatment you require in a much greater detail. Please remember it is better to treat tooth wear as early as possible, as the later stages will require much more complex treatment. Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope you found this series useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Make sure to also download the My Dental Care app where all the information mentioned is quickly accessible. If you'd like to watch the other videos in this series, check out our playlist in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video series and thanks for watching.